Good morning everybody, it's Denise here, Denise Junk Journals UK. I hope you're all well. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, yeah, I am back in my room. I've got three quarters of my stuff back in, but I don't know where anything is. <laughs> I've just spent half an hour looking for my microphone. Um, so yeah, a quick video today on, I'm going to make some Christmas ephemera and then, um, yeah, then I'll have a full 24 hours to try and organise my room and um, look at that treasure trove of beauties organise my room and find everything um, my projects which I thought I'd put away safely ready to be the first thing that I found but yeah what is it of mice and men <laughs> greatest plans of mice and men something like that so yeah I've, I think I did say to you in a previous video that I've got lots of Lots of bits from Christmas, loads actually, <laughs> um, from last year that let me just get everything out and then I can get rid of this onto the newly carpeted floor. <laughs> um, yeah, that I want to use up. So I'm going to make um, some ephemera and um, clusters and things like that. There's some bits that won't fussy cut in. We'll get rid of the, the plastic. Um, so I've got here fussy cuts that are already done I'm sure we've oops I've fallen out of that but that's fine I'm sure we looked at these the other day all sorts of fuss, some jingle bells all sorts of fussy cuts for Christmas in there so I think if I take the lid off that and put in here the ones that need cutting that would be a good start wouldn't it I won't cut them up now but I will hmm. I'll just cut them small enough to go in that tray and then we can have a bit of space and see what we're doing because my desk is fairly fairly clear you know compared to oh yeah remember those um compared to what it was normally and i'm not bringing everything back onto my desk i have got rid of quite quite a bit of stuff i think i've already told you that as well um my right, papers there pussy cuts there oh that's one from last year nice so I've already got a piece of ephemera there. That's just cut out of a book. This is all scrap paper. So let's have all the scraps here. Some of those will make some nice clusters, won't they? Uh, that's all fussy cuts. Fussy cuts, embellishments, shall we call them. Hmm. Christmas paper. Oh, well, that's like a journal card from last year. Yeah, we'll call those embellishments. Oops. Oh, first thing that's hit the floor since I've moved back in. <laughs> it was bright pink. It was a, um, I thought that was just a bit of scrap. It was a paper clip. There's some of the newer papers. Red envelopes. Just felt really thick. They are thick, those envelopes. So, And I've got a lot of them, so this would be a good time of year to use those up scraps. I thought they'd be nice to cut round actually, so we'll put those in the need cutting up. Yeah, and those are from last year all attached together. I've also brought some green card, so um, we can put the needs cutting up over there because we're not going to be cutting up on camera. So I've got lots of bits of papers here. So what what shall we? Oh, you'll notice I haven't put my uh, I haven't cleaned my desk yet either. I haven't put my mat back on yet because um, I want to change it. I'd, I cut into that, that last one. Have I got any scrap booking, uh, gluing paper with me? Hmm. We'll use something out of here. I'm not, I'm not getting up again. I've got lots of stuff in here that wants using up. So this is an old desk drawer that's a big old fashioned desk drawer that I use for storage. Oh yeah, I'll we'll use some of that definitely because it's from a dictionary and it's it's a massive dictionary yeah use some of that for gluing on and other things right so we've got paper with white back and paper that's double-sided so i suppose we ought to start with the basics which are pockets aren't they oh i just just don't know where to start i ought to just pick start at the top shall we start at the top and decide what they're going to be well they're going to be tags because they're tag shaped so let's Make some pockets for them to fit. Now that's going the other way, so that can't be a tag. 
do I want it attached? Um, I suppose I could fold one down, wouldn't I like that? Yeah, I could make a nice small pocket. Oh, I don't think I've got my... No, I'm still in the bedroom. Um, what is it called? How big shall we have it? About there? My guillotine. So we're going to have to go with hand cutting, which is rubbish. <laughs> yeah, I might have to go get it. I cannot cut for toffee in a straight line. How bad is that? It's not bad actually. Not bad. Get rid of the bits. So I was thinking of folding it over, but I could actually just let's fold it and see. Just trim that off, I was thinking. Okay, I hope you're all well. I wonder how much Christmas um, ephemera making you've got done. So I think what I'll do is to keep it nice and straight, I'll cut it near like that. That was very near. And then I'll just fold the very top bit over that way. I haven't got bulk. Oh, that navy blue is quite dark to see, isn't it? I've got all my lights on. It's a very dark day. I've even got some Christmassy lights on. You probably can't see them. Well, I say on. They're just plugged in on my desk at the minute. Let's move that noisy thing. Can you see them? <laughs> yeah, I think it feels dark with this dark desk as well. I think the... Um, I don't have cloth either. Oh, I do, I do. Yeah, the lighter cover that I have on it is, is better, a better background. Okay, it's a nice, simple, smallish pocket. I need the smaller ones because they, um, just seeing if I've got corner around it somewhere. I've got my old one. Yeah, they fit into the smaller journals that I make. Okay, we've got one, we've got one done. Okay, let's do something. What's this? This is a piece of collaged. That would make a nice ripped pocket, wouldn't it? Shall we do one the other way? That way. So, I have got quite a few Christmas journals coming up, like I said. Um, glue, not glue, what do you call it? Dobber brown dubber and walnut. Yep, I think that's walnut. It's brown, so it'll do. <laughs> Am I on screen? Can you be a little bit closer? Yeah, I must get those red and green uh, dobbers organised so I can use my red and green ink. Um, I'm not, it's quite thick that, so I'm not going to back it onto anything and we'll just call that a pocket. So that was easy done because we'll make some tags for them. This can then just become the basis of a cluster. Um, I won't make it just yet, but I'll leave it over there. And you know, a scrap over there. It's going to be a tag. Oh, another one that's folded over. Oh, that's a piece I already made. Yeah, so I left it for journaling on the back. It's um yeah it was a vintage book of christmas carols or christmas songs but anything for the front of it to make it a bit oh yes we've got these lovely so these are from tanya at tatty treasure I'm sure i showed you them the other day I'm sure i'm sure i did let's have a look then that one's from nanine we've got kind of a bluey color inside haven't we got that that's got kind of a bluey background ish yeah that's stretching it a bit but it has <laughs> um what else do we want on with it so it says merry christmas um don't know is there anything in here that's gonna oh, some vellum some vellum holly that's nice and where i got that from Oh, and I've got my washes. Where are they? Okay, I've got Christmas washes here as well. So, shall we have that one across there and across there with some 
poly washi that might be nice holding it down so let's put this down I'm going to use the art glitter it's getting ready for filling up so mm. you dried up already just kidding yeah I seem to have a shadow why have I got a shadow so I can bring that a bit nearer is that better yeah lighting is tricky isn't it I feel this is a darker house it doesn't doesn't feel it too much but it um yeah for lighting my my projects I definitely feel I'm darker here at the table I never sit down and not have the light on even when I'm you know working on my own not filming so yeah and I, there's two two windows in this bedroom so hmm. and I'm all white now my walls are all white and my carpet is a, a very very light beigey creamy beigey colour can't find the end <laughs> um, the doors are still brown because we decided it would be easier to just leave them until we replace them rather than uh, go to the trouble of painting them well I just cannot find the end of that how very annoying um, I don't know if you can I hope you can't hear Neil and the television is downstairs watching ah the World Cup well football <laughs> I think it's the World Cup I'm pretty sure it is it was when I came up and uh, yeah they had to take the doors off here I can hear his telly droning now I told him to have it quietly <laughs> um, because the carpet was so thick that it uh, the doors won't shut they don't need a lot off but they need a bit off so yeah so if you can hear him <laughs> or any noise that's because the door's not closed it's a big hole um and both of them are off so i've got the uh, airing cupboard so it's got an immersion heater even though we don't use it electric water heater in here and uh yeah the door's off that as well but yeah they're brown what i was saying they're, they're still brown so they will still be drinking some of the the light up I've lost that lovely piece of vellum. Not that I was sure I wanted it now, but and maybe this dark desk because all the other furniture in here is light. Um, no, I just want something down there, don't I? Little something. Yeah, I wish I'd been playing with Christmas already, and then uh, oh. no, I'd be into it, but I'm not. <laughs> I've had one little foray, haven't I really? Lots of lovely things, but none of them go with that. Nope. I've got a stamp. That's nice. Now, I said it was blue inside, didn't I? Yeah. What do we think? It's got a Christmas tree in there. I think it might be. Could be the boy from the the snowman it's a it's a young boy in his pajamas anyway and it's an old-fashioned christmas tree because it's got candles on it so i'm just gonna go with it just touching that there yeah and then i think that wants some gold around it which i haven't got out yet so three bits though um plus the other pieces that we found over there put everything back in there so I can find it when I'm looking that's it <laughs> great big desk and I'm all in I'm all in this little tiny bit here okay so um pockets huh. snowmen and snowballs and there's a bigger piece so that will be a nice background piece for something red or green two tiny little squares there what we're going to do with those oops blue another piece of that okay what have we got in here a couple of nice sideways on pieces that go nice with that actually that one so we could There's only one though, isn't there? I'd like two. 
like two pieces of that please no one is all you can have have I got anything else long and thin no okay we'll just have to be a one then right I am going to go and get my uh, Okay, there we go. I've got it. Um, yeah, because I'm going to make a. Uh, what what height do we like? Let's get the bottom square to start with. Doesn't look too far off, but so about four and a half inches. I think I'll go. Um, or 11 centimetres, whichever whichever you measure in. I'm going to do centimetres. And then width-wise, uh, four. Like that. That does not look square to me after all that. Let's have a look. Could just be my eyes. Can't tell. Maybe just that top one, not quite. The rest of it was pretty not far off. Okay, is that big enough to go on there now? That's been backed onto something. Right, I'm going to have to lose a bit of one of the... That one, I think. What were we for? 11, weren't we? So I need to be just under so that it... Oops, it moved a bit then. Oh, I think I'm going to sneeze as well. Excuse me. Didn't stop the camera in time. I did grab my tissue in time though. That's sliding about, isn't it? How annoying. Because I haven't got that mat on. Um, yeah, that's quite full on, isn't it? But because I was going with the green, to remember. <laughs> um, I'll go with this one though. I think. I just couldn't decide whether to put another one on, but I don't think I will. I'll round those top corners. And then I'll round the bottom corners of this. Oh, yeah, maybe. Because it's, it's been backed, it's very, very strong. Maybe not. Go on. At least this puts a dent in it so I can see where I need to cut. <laughs> An indentation of the, the right shape. That's it. So like that. Yeah. Do I want anything behind it before I... Uh, <coughs> stick it down. Ooh, it's like getting everything out for the first time again. Oh, it would help if you could see. <laughs> what did you get a picture of then? Not my pigtail, I hope because I've just got one in <laughs> just because my hair is in my eyes and uh, I can't find my hair slides so I thought I'll just stick a little um yes what's it called hair bobble <laughs> it's not a bobble really it's just in a you know, hair elastic just to stop it from getting in the eyes while I film bright but it's Christmas so why not oops it's not very straight do it gosh I'll try again I just got it off in time it was all but stuck it wasn't going to slide that is for sure it did let me just pull it off though right let's let's get it better at the bottom this time oh. you're not gonna stick at all now just there. Oh, I see. It's the backing that's come away. Right, there we go. Right, I hope I'm talking loud enough. I have got a sore throat. <laughs> I wasn't really going to share that with you because all I ever do is tell you of me um, But yeah, I just realised I perhaps wasn't, wasn't talking very loud. So I'm hoping it's just a winter sore throat. The, uh, the COVID is still still kicking around here. 
it's not uh, it's not going anywhere that's still not quite straight is it how very annoying might be better if I trim that and give the illusion of <laughs> I couldn't decide if I wanted something on there, but this is this is half the fun, isn't it? So let's put something on it. What shall we put on it? Oh, that's nice. Even more pattern. <laughs> Does cover some of that background though, doesn't it? Quite like that. Let's just have a look what else it might be. I've got Santa, we've got an angel. I like the kind of botanical look of that one, to be honest. These are all a bit... Uh, large display of toys and dolls, isn't it? So many nice things here. Let's go with that one. Um, this one ready to put something there instead. Just, just try. <laughs> See if anything jumps out at me. Wrong colour. I need to get all these out on a tray, don't I? Because there's so many of them. Wish you knew love and best. No. Santa, no. Yeah, there's just so many to look through. Okay, don't say I'm going to sneeze again. Let me just grab another tissue. Uh, no, we'll just put that one in. I don't know. That's growing in me as I looked away and looked back, but I think it's it's a little bit too much with this. Yeah, I'm going to go with that one. Where's my dobber? be nice on a you know like a page like this book page brighten it up be a bit much on some Christmassy paper page I think just can't decide which way around I want it that way I think okay so shall we have a look at the ones we've done so far and make some tags for them because I feel I might end up with just lots of pockets and no tags. I've only done three, haven't I? That one wasn't one of these, but let's yeah, let's let's see what tags we've got to go in them. I also brought these two pieces along that I spotted while I was grabbing my um guillotine. So the holly fairy and just a beautiful um fireplace Christmas it's out of a Scrooge book okay what have we got here so we probably want them I well, we want them contrasting but a bit plainer do we that would be nice in there I can then put something nice on top of that so it wants wants some journal oh it's pretty though look but it does want some journaling behind it it's too what have we got it's too thin I don't think I've got anything there that's journaling on paper, so I need some some thinner paper. Nope. Bear with me while I dig through. What have we got here? Rays. Quite fussy as well. Yep. Not that one. Rolls. The right floral might go, not butterflies, but maybe that one. That's an Edith Holden print. Does it go? No, I think I see butterflies in it. Right, I can see my Christmas paper from here. So just bear with me a minute. Ooh. So these are Nanine's winter, uh, Christmas, antique Christmas, I think, something like that. That's a nice one, isn't it? Will that go? Yes, I think it will. So glue stick, 
What did we think about the size? Is it going to be a bit small? After all that, let's just pop that under there for now. Mm, maybe not, because when that's glued down, no, it won't be. Let's get that edge off first. I know it'll want trimming again, so we'll, I won't take too much off. And then I'll stick it on to take this edge off. I seem to have printed these very small, I don't know. I obviously didn't do borderless printing. Never mind. Sorry if that's really noisy. Whoops. I just need those white edges off. So she does a green, this in green, and uh, she does um, a red set as well, so it's very Christmassy. Shall I go for, yeah, just the top left hand corner, I think. So it gives plenty, I <laughs> don't know which end's the top, it gives plenty of um, actual journal space then. Right, I'll stop that because I have stopped <laughs> and walked around twice. I haven't been sat here all that time, so I suppose I ought to start it again. Somebody's hammering now out the back. Yes, yeah, so you probably gathered it's Neil's day off, seeing as he's downstairs watching football. So tomorrow it's shopping day again, doesn't it? Come round quick, grocery shopping comes around quicker than payday that's for sure <laughs> um yeah grocery shopping and a few bits for the house and then hopefully i will get a, a few hours in here not hopefully i definitely am no matter what <laughs> yeah, yeah getting it back together that's it. right shall we do another one just while that one dries a little bit um I can't put it onto my mat to dry because I ain't got my mat. <laughs> so it might dry a bit. Yeah, it's pretty that. When it's trimmed down, we'll put something on there and I think it'll go nice with that one. I've got the lid. I just noticed I've got that missing. There we go. And which other one? I've got two. So this, this only needs something small, doesn't it? I mean, I've got the same piece. So I think that's too small. I think it is. So I've got some Midnight Blue Star. Where do we want it? About? Let's cut it about there and then see. They'll have to be as you know, I straightened up on the guillotine, but let's just see size wise. Yeah, that's better. Um, dropped it on the floor. Yeah, I've not got my little tables at the side of me or um, my wheelie cart. So I've got nothing, nothing around me at all that I normally put things on. I mean, I do put things on those and then use the floor as well, but I would like not to use the floor anymore because I'm trying to keep it tidy. What does that look like? It's not folded under to me. Well, just not a very sharp edge. See, that's gone too far now. That's better. Better than it was anyway. And um, yeah, what we're going to don't want to back that one in green, really, do I? Although there's red and green on the front, so where's the piece I just used? I could probably get quite a plainish. Oh, there, look, that's quite plain. Let's stick it on that, and then we'll embellish it. Anything sticky here? So even if I only get three done, it's three pockets and tags, isn't it? Uh, put together. What's going on here? I don't know. I'll deal with that when I've finished filming. <laughs> yeah. 
So that's too drying, which we'll embellish in a minute, and then something for this. So we want sort of red or green, so that will back it again when we find something. If we find something. Is he going to fit in there? Let's have a look at him. He would go with the holly that's on the or the berries. Oh, it is holly. I think it's holly on the back of the pocket. Let's have some flower fairies in the season. Yeah, he's going to fit lovely, isn't he? Fabulous. So, shall we back him onto a piece of this? Which way up? All well, the writing's that way, so glue it that way and then I can use the bottom half again. See I've got a little monkey, oh chimpanzee <laughs> on my page. Yeah so um, Neil's been and bled my radiator in here as well and gosh it's gone from cool, really cool <laughs> to when the radiator's on absolutely scorching. It was, he said it was three quarters air. <laughs> so yeah I'll be saving a bit of, a bit of uh, energy now I hope, a little bit. And uh, the bedroom one had a couple of inches of air in it, so that was a good job. Good job done, but this one was very, it must be the end of the line or something. Very full of air, if you know what I mean. I didn't think it was giving me a lot of heat. Now, I did have a table in front of it, and I haven't now, which will also help matters. Yep, yeah, that'll be lovely, so we'll let that dry. Let's bring the others back in. Put the lid on that glue because I've just had my arm on it. <laughs> oh, maybe not. Okay then, don't. I'm not going to fight you. I was just wondering about one of these red envelopes. Um, because of this chimney scene. Oh yeah, look on the other side there is. Forget his name out of Scrooge. What's his name? It is quite nice that for a journal, isn't it? So, couldn't just make a double page, couldn't we? So I kind of want it close to this edge. I'm just going to glue the, the envelope front and then cut round. It's a quick job, isn't it? And it'll be another piece ready to play with. So I don't know if you remember, in the summer when I went away, I bought a great big um, book in the shop at in the bookshop at yeah definitely prefer that other glue that I've just finished that I got off Tanya I'll have to order some yeah I've got a blobby bit there that I don't like get a bit of that's it and I said I was going to make a five yeah I'm back I'm back talking on that again now um a five signature journal and I'm going to do it in you know as a Christmassy one so we're going to need lots of ephemera for that. It was the Indian book, if you if you remember. It had a gorgeous, gorgeous outside, and I've never ever done a five um, signature before. So, yeah, it will be quite an undertaking, I think, and <laughs> I expect it will be very heavy when it's when it's finished. But yeah, looking forward to doing that. So it won't be. It will be kit papers that I've got left over. Did I just cut that envelope then? Quite possibly. Um, but lots of other Christmassy book pages and you know, book pages in general. So yeah, really looking forward to. I'll have to try not to put too many in each signature because we're five signatures. It's soon going to get chunky, isn't it? Let's have a look at that. I didn't cut it, that was lucky. Yeah, so that, that can either be attached to another another page and go in as a a page and then be oops, decorated up or have a pocket or something on it. This is where I cut into the <laughs> No, haven't have I? No. Well, I'm quite impressed with that cutting. Well done. Okay, let's have a look at these tags then, because the time is a ticking. I wonder if I can cut that one by hand, because it's got a really good 
edge on it. There we go. Yeah, so I'm sorry if you tuned in hoping to see the pink Christmas journal that is going to be the giveaway. But if I find it, that will be the very next video that you see. I mean, I will find it. I mean, if I find it by tomorrow, <laughs> I think I will. Uh, but if not, I've plenty of other things started and to start. So there will be something happening. I could start getting the signatures together for that. That big five signature journal. <laughs> so what do we want on here? Do you know what I'm thinking would be nice there? A cluster and I haven't made any yet. So we'll just leave it on one side for now. Put all the unmades over there. So I've only got made here. And this one needs something on it, doesn't it? Um, let's, let's go with this straight away and then I'm not wasting any papers. straight edge come off mm, gluey very gluey yeah it's this you who doesn't dry very quickly and it's quite sticky okay let's get those in the bin that's it um I'm wondering if some material might be nice on the top of there. Christmassy tag. What have we got? Let's bring it in. That's nice, isn't it? Oops, it's like Hessian. Let's just have a bit. Uh, what am I doing? I don't really want to use my good scissors. Any old ones? Yes on that wire. I don't want the wire. Oh, gosh, I don't know what's happening out the back, but it's very noisy. <clears throat> right, let me screw that up and put it in the bin. Now, I know it's good for beads and things, but I don't want to lose that on me. My carpeted floor, it is lovely and um, thick. Gosh, that's thick as well. I don't want one that big. Yeah. Uh, carpet so it's creating a lot of fluff at the minute <laughs> no change for my for my craft room really is it but um, yeah I think it's because it's a it is a good carpet so yeah I think it's gonna last me a long long time as long as I don't drop glue and ink all over it didn't think that was coming out I think there's loads on there sort your eyes out Denise oops let's just protect my table that's it not quite so much on that side oh perhaps it needs it because it's had that wire in it it's quite stiff I need a little clip. Have I got any little clips here? Oh. <laughs> Very sticky. Okay, don't laugh. <laughs> I'm going to end up sticking that to it, aren't I? <laughs> oh, threads everywhere. Right, I'll give that a minute or two to glue before we embellish it. I'll pull that over because I've got glue everywhere. Oh, Chinese cabbage it says. Never had any. What have I done to that wire? Okay, and last one. Yeah, I'm covered in glue now. Mm, that's 
nice that blue midnighty blue so yeah we'll have it on there so we want something on the tab or oh, journal card and something on the front of here oh sorry wobbled you um where's my little box of things here right we've got lovely owls on there don't know if you can see i've got my wire everywhere i don't really want to cover them up too much if I can help it but if I have to I have to oh it's a little tag there look where's all the ephemera there that's one of those lovely stickers that Tanya sent me that's a possibility Too much in here i need to sort sort it out he's gorgeous oh, some more holly new mm -hmm, quite like that the smaller one there as well lots of lovely stuff in here i really will have to have a dig through no I think that's a piece that's been as well. It is kind of. Right, we've dropped them all now, Denise. Anything else? Yes, that. Just wondering if there's any Christmassy stamps. I have got loads somewhere. I obviously didn't put them in here. Oh, there's one. I'm not sure it's what. Oh, it's another one. No, I don't really know what I'm looking for. I'm going to make the bottom, so. Oh, what's these? A few bits here. A few little bits, right. Oh, <laughs> gosh. So, not that one. I don't want it. That Christmas tree is nice. Oh, that covers me owl up completely though. But what isn't going to? Kittens. Kittens and holly. That's gorgeous. Oh, look at that lovely owl paper all being hidden. But I do quite like that. Basket of kittens with some holly on. And what does this say? Compliments of the season. Maybe a piece of that down there. I think this is going on here because I really love it. Shame about my owl. And I mean it fits to the exact. It's perfect so it's got to go on. Yeah I feel like I'm wobbling you about. I'm, I don't know if I've not attached the camera properly. I'll have to have a look. And see why that is. Yeah every time I lift my hand up off the table you wobble. Hmm such a pain isn't it when everything's I feel like I've done nothing for the last two years but move a house or craft room or <laughs> table chairs I'll be pleased to to be settled once and for all that isn't any kind of washi is it no it is vellum and it is cut so I'm assuming that I've just now I have to cut it down some more Oh Denise, just get it on and stop faffing maybe. No, I want it trimming a bit more. Let me try with these and see. See how straight my edge is. It just seems to be a lot of a lot of plain. Vellum. It's not very straight now, does it? That's better. Right, that's definitely more appealing to me. Mm. Just 
soften the edges a bit, the corners. I know it's a lot of faffing just for an embellishment, but I'm obviously in a faffing mood. Yeah, I feel that's better. I don't want too much of this on. I don't think it shows through too badly, but you do see like a, a clear line of glue, if you know what I mean. I mean, you can see it before it dries, definitely, but even when it's dried, you see a little bit of that, I think. That's been inked, and it's from last year, so... <laughs> Time it was used. Yeah, can't wait to get back on with that pink journal and get it to somebody. Can't, uh, can't wait to find that and, and then get on. Like I say, I've got another pink one coming up with a kit by Lavender Blue Art, Fiona. Lavender blue out on Etsy, and then yeah, then I think I'll start my five um, signature one. I'm going to do a if I've got a chance, at least one if not two December dailies to put in the shop, but we'll see. You may or may not get to see them. Yep, right. I don't know if I like that in there or not, but. There will be plenty of ephemera being made so it could be swapped around with something before we're done right did i bring any bling that wants some bling across it is there any in here what are we going on we're going on there so we can go red and green oh look the snippet roll look at that that's from last year oh i'll save it <laughs> ah that's exactly what I'm after. Look, some lovely blingy rickrack in red and green and gold. Perfect. Okay, we'll have that on there. I'm thinking this might be nice with a big Christmas tree. I don't know if I've got one. Something green on those red dots. That's going to be a chunky tab top, isn't it? Move those out of the way. Um, yeah, I just want something on here. Hmm, <laughs> sweet. There's quite a few of these. That's nice, isn't it? Yeah, let's have that. That's a ticket from Nanine. A, a label. Okay, I think we might be near the end of our session, unfortunately. We made a start, didn't we? Want something on that. I don't know what now. I've I've got anything just here looking at me, saying, use me. Oh, some lovely ribbons and things in there, but no, nothing grabbing me. Um, that's quite nice. Oh, there's this lovely large display of dolls. And, yes, I'm sure I've got this printed out again somewhere else. I've seen it recently, so... on there. Super. I don't know what time it is. Oops. I'll go and see what the husband and the cat are up to. Which one of them's awake, <laughs> if either. Have I got enough on it now or does it want something down there? I feel like I might want to I rounded the top, I feel like I might want to round the bottom as well, that's better. Yeah, 
to like that. Okay, let's see if we can make some room to have a look at what we've made then. Yeah, I think I think I was right. I think the desk is uh, is pulling all the colour, the light out of the place. So things looking very dark. Pop you in there, and you in the bin. So we made today. Haven't done anything with that yet. Probably wants a label on the back. I haven't got my little box of labels here, so and that wants something on there as well. But yeah, we made a quite good start. And that's just an envelope page, and yeah, we put something on the front of this. That might be nice with the corners rounded as well. But I'll wait until I get my other rounder out. And yeah, there's some other pieces that I found, isn't there? I'll dig them out. Okay. I hope you enjoyed seeing a little bit of Christmas then. Um, sorry I'm not organised and ready to go, but those of you that know me well probably know that I wouldn't be. <laughs> Tanya did say to me, I bet you spend all week putting it back together, and I think you might be right. <laughs> um, but yeah, it'll be enjoyable. So yeah, I hope you're having a lovely time, and I will see you all on Thursday. Bye for now.